he was rescued. <laughs> he literally almost drowned on the first first night. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free. guys, welcome to episode 3. Um, I've just gone, got back from a short stint on the Super Yachts. Um, we're here in Martinique at the moment, but we want to take you back to uh, Peter Island. And from there we're going to bounce around a couple of those islands and then end up in St. Martin where we rescued this little guy. And uh, also picked up three more crew from there. Okay, the first place we got to was the bath in Virgin Gorda. While Colin and Ben checked us out of the BBIs, Benji, Julia and I explored the massive boulders and nice beaches the Bats in Virgin Gorda has to offer. You cannot ding it directly to the beach, you have to swim, which kind of makes the awesome rainwater boulder shower we had worthless when swimming back home. Of course, Ben and Colin knew what they wanted to do around here before we went into the last island we were to visit in the VDI. Anegada, the flat island, known for its sand beaches, numerous beach bars, a lobster fest and mount range of 28 feet. We knew exactly what to do there, renting scooters it was. to uh, St. Martin was 80 nautical miles. Um, I wanted to try and leave as early as possible so that we could get there in daylight hours. Um, little did I know that we were going to have 30 knots on the nose the whole way, so it ended up taking 27 hours. The sail to St. Martin was a massive learning curve and uh, we didn't really expect to have to go through what we did. Um, the mainsail tore, the, uh, the head of the sail ripped off because apparently we found out later that all the stitching up the head of the sail was damaged from uh, UV. Um, the, uh, there were about six foot seas coming straight at us, 30 knot winds. The dinghy filled up with water and, and we forgot to take the bung out of the dinghy so it bent the davit with all the weight. Um, the nav lights, they stopped working. Uh, once we got there, we had water in both engine rooms. Um, that was from the sort of seam between the deck joint of the hull and the deck. Um, while, while we're battling this 27 hour crossing, um, we also had no lifeline, so it was, it was kind of dangerous sailing all through the night. We thought it would take 12 hours, it ended up taking 27, so um, the whole time we had no wind vane either as well, so we kind of, I was kind of guessing it was 30 knots. 30 knot winds as well, so huge learning curve and, and we took a lot away from it and hopefully we don't put ourselves in that situation again, but it was a very uncomfortable night sailing. After we got to St. Martin, after all that stuff broke, we decided to stay there for a couple of weeks and uh, during that time we rescued this little guy here. Uh, Jeff and Tara found him in a cave and he was deep down the back of the cave and one of his brothers or sisters was dead at the front of the cave. So Jeff and Tara, they picked him up and uh, asked if we could take care of him. Uh, when we got him, he was 
in such bad shape, eh? Yes. The next day, they washed him and they took like out of more than a hundred uh, leaves. Uh, he was like all covered in mud. He couldn't even open his eyes because it has pus. And he had like a rash here all over this, like with green pimples. No. What else he had? It was bad. Like yeah, he could hardly walk. Mm -hmm. um, when we, me and Ben washed him, and it was just filled with fle like thousands of fleas. Uh, when we took him to the vet, the vet said that these um, the infections on his stomach were from all the flea bites. Um, he was he was literally about to die. He was eating his own poo because that was his own sort of form of nutrition, whatever he could get out of his poo. It was really bad. I've never seen anything like it. And um, for the first three days, he was just sleeping and eating, sleeping and eating. We didn't even feel that there was a dog on board. Yeah, he was, he was exhausted. He was in shock. The worst part was, was uh, when we first got him, they, uh, Jeff and Tara gave it to us at, at night on the beach. <laughs> And Benji, our French friend, he uh, didn't realize how weak he was. So, because we don't speak English, he didn't understand what they say or he didn't hear the whole story. So he was like, uh, how do you say, playing with Marty a little bit and he put it on the water and almost like a wave take him. And he almost drowned on the first night he that he was rescued. He literally almost drowned on the first, first night. I think Benji put him down on the beach and he was just so lost that he just walked down to the beach and this wave just smashed him <laughs> and he was like, he pretty much nearly died that night, it was so sad but yeah, we took him on the boat and, and uh, yeah, he had, oh, he had worms coming out of his butt, he was in, uh, he was in bad shape but he now was, look at him. He was shaking all the time, oh Marty. Um, we also picked up a couple of crew members, um, yourself, Guy, a little French guy, and Ben's girlfriend, Gabby, also came and joined us in St. Martin. So who is yourself? Yourself is me, Eric Dues. I'm 23 years old from Germany, and I met Colin briefly before I went to America. So when I saw Colin's post on Facebook of them having bought a new boat, I messaged him, do you need another hand? Um, because I was playing with the idea of going back to the BVI to do some video work there, and then he said no. Except, do you know anything about videography? I'm like, hey man, that's my passion. So we we talked a little bit, and two weeks later, I hopped on a plane and flew to St. Martin. <laughs> so in St. Martin, I discovered that actually was a lot of work to be done. They had done so much videographing, and I think that's the word, but they had done so much of that, it was unbelievable. Benji filmed a lot, Colin, Maria, Julia, they all filmed and filmed and filmed, but it all had to get organized and looked through. So that was my task for the first few Weeks. <laughs> I don't mind being behind the camera. Marty! Oi! Marty! Neither does Marty. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that episode. On the next episode, we want to uh, give you a tour of our boat. Um, I'll show you a couple of things that we did to get us out of Nanny Key finally. We do really appreciate all the comments and stuff that you guys are uh, making and, and also the messages you're sending. Um, it's kind of overwhelming to be honest, but. I think, I think we're doing something pretty interesting here, so we'll, we'll keep the videos going if you keep subscribing and liking. And if you don't like, please subscribe, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. This is my